Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding sellers with no sales and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called customer with two different columns, customer ID, customer name, customer ID being the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the information of each customer in the web store. We are also given a second table called orders with five different columns, order ID, sale date, order cost, customer ID, seller ID, order ID being the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains all orders made in the web store. Sale date is the date when the transaction was made between the customer and the seller. Okay. We are also given a third table called seller with two different columns, seller ID and seller name. Seller ID being the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the information of each seller. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the names of all sellers who did not make any sales in 2020. Okay. The result should be ordered by seller name in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. So these are the three different customers and various orders and these are the different sellers. So from this, we need to identify that in 2020, which of these three sellers, right, did not make any sale, right? So if you see in 2020, there are three different rows, right? The three different sales, basically this one, this one and this one, right? And if you see the seller ID, so here we have seller ID one, here we have seller ID two, here again we have seller ID two. So Daniel and Elizabeth, they made a sale in 2020. So the only person who didn't made a sale in 2020 is Frank and that is the output. So from this, if we can identify all the sellers who made a sale in 2020 and then using this seller table, what we can do is try to see, okay, so does all the seller IDs that we got from the orders table who made a sale in 2020 are there in this? If not, then that person is basically the person who didn't made any sale in the 2020 year, right? Okay, let's start developing this. It would be more clear then. Okay, so firstly, let's identify who all made sales in 2020, right? So from this order table, right? From this orders table, where the year column of the sale date column, right? So the year value of the sale date column is equal to 2020 because we are only concerned with 2020, right? So for 2020, we need to identify all the sellers who made a sale. So what we do, we just simply write select distinct seller ID. So all the sellers who made a sale in 2020, right? And let's store this in a common table expression. So with CTE as this entire thing is the sellers who made a sale in 2020, right? Now, obviously from this seller table, right? So from the seller table, right? If we write where seller ID not in, right? seller id not in return seller id from cte right so basically what it is doing is from this seller table says where the seller id is not in the sellers who made a sale in 2020 when the seller id is not in the list of seller ids with made a sale in 2020 so basically that seller id is a seller who did not make sale in 2020, right? So after this, we need the seller name here. So we write return seller name, right? And since we need to order this by the seller name in ascending order, all we do is we write order by seller name. Okay, so this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, very simple question. All we had to do was from this orders table need to identify who or who, which all sellers made a sale in year 2020. And from this, just whoever made a sale in 2020 and if that person is not in this, Right, so that person did not make any sale in 2020, right? 
so that is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video